Okay, I probably shot a video like this before, but I was doing this, setting this up. Uh, one of my sets is being beaten up and stuff, so so I'm replacing set six with ones that I bought recently. Um, I'll just show you. Just, just I just did this one. That's six one. Let's do six three. Now, how to do it? I want to program for area six. I have this on right, right above this little. This this yellow is a hole. Uh, normally I use a paper clip. I happen to have this little hex wrench. It's so small it'll actually fit in there. I'm hard to see in this light. Oh, man. There it is. Okay, it's in. So you simply push on the button. You'll feel it. It blinks. And in this case, I want it to hit the five because this is modules five through eight. Uh, you can do you can do other things. If I hit the six, they won't match up. So I'll go. What happens is six, seven, and eight will will uh, be these here. So so five, six, and seven will be six, seven, and eight on the console. Uh, I don't recommend doing it, but one thing you can do, which I will show in a minute, I'll just go ahead and repeat the process. Hopefully I will get that in real quick. Now this time I'm this is nine through twelve, so. When this is blinking, I push the 9 button on the, the console. I'll program this unit to be uh, 9 through 12. It's a little harder because I'm using this instead. Push it in. You can feel it. It's blinking yet. I'm too busy looking at the view. There it is. Okay. Push 9. Let's see that, how that blinked again. And this, this, this went off. Uh, that should have been the indicator that 9 through 12 are if we push, let's say, 11, for instance. You can see, we can confirm that that is the case. So, we've done these two. That one was already previously done. This, I believe, I believe this is the one. This is uh, part of my old set six. Uh, it was already programmed for that. So, what happened in these two cases, since this was assigned to now 9 through 12, these two units, oh, you can't see it, sorry. Check your camera view occasionally. These two units, this is six. They'll both basically work exactly the same. This can be useful if you have two things you want to go off at the exact same time. Uh, you can just set up your firing modules uh, exact same time and they're physically separate. Like uh, you may have two fountains that are far apart from each other and you don't want them off the same firing module. I have several times... Uh, uh, there's, there's several things I do the way I have things physically separated. So I've done this with another set, uh, area four also has a du one duplicated. Uh, so I'll push, uh, let's go and go up a little. Actually, let's get move these two off of view. That's easiest. I'll push the 12 button and you'll see 12 on both these units it should go off. Do it from this, so I'll block it. See that? They both went off. Similarly, let's just go to 10 just to verify. See, they blink and they fire, and let's just do 9 too. So you can have two units do exactly the same. You can even do three or four. It really doesn't matter. These, these have been paired to area 6, and by pushing the button like we showed earlier, you, you've assigned them to these uh, four buttons. Uh, again, with one, so use one for the first set, Five for the second and nine for the third set of four. And that's all you really need to know about at least the programming. I did want to show you this little, little handy little tip that you can do. Um, anything else? No. Oh, get the different areas. They're all different, but I really like the console one. Here's area seven. So if I had another set, I could just flip this to eight and then re repeat the exact same process. That's everything you need to know I think if you have questions ask them because maybe I forgot something oh the cover is off because I accidentally left my module in on mode and the batteries were down it almost didn't start up again but it turns out I just didn't push the batteries in enough I was really worried it died on me already uh, I probably should at some point buy a second one of these consoles in case it ever does to make sure it's firmly pushed in on this part up the top part up here i heard it make a little snap noise that didn't make before 
now it goes in so when you're putting if you're putting the lid on here make sure you push this to until you hear that snap noise then it's thoroughly up and then this will go down and you